started music right after my brother passed away in 2017. Uh, the loss of my brother was kind of the catalyst for my music career and what started my with me. So um, every time I get on stage, every time I'm writing a song, I have my brother's memory in my heart. And uh, I remember um, just who he was to me and the incredible brother he was. And he inspires everything I do. Can we do a I wanted to ask you about the impact that Hey Girl Nation is making. Yeah, so I have a song called Hey Girl on my record, and uh, it's been a blessing to see how that song has impacted so many girls. But we launched Hey Girl Nation uh, about a month ago now, and basically it's a platform to really encourage young women in the Lord, and uh, eventually we're going to partner with organizations to help women out of sex trafficking and uh, all sorts of things, and just uh, help women in general. So it's awesome. Thank you. You know, I've always had a love for children, especially young females, and then as I got older and as I started doing music, um, it became a passion to not only sing about my brother and the loss of him, but also to inspire young women to grow closer to the Lord. I feel like so much of my life has been um, just defined by identity and not feeling good enough and not worthy enough. So my goal is really to reach people in all areas of life, but specifically young women who are struggling with their identity and reminding them that they're a daughter of Jesus. Thank you, Anne. And now we will welcome oh, Matthew West, Jeff Cardo to the stage, co writers on the pop contemporary recorded song of the year, My Jesus. And then, uh, what did that question, Michael? Yeah. There was a lady that um, came up to me at the show the other week. She uh, was struggling with cancer, lost all of her hair, battling. Um, she said that she was ready to commit suicide and end her life. But um, she was in the car and she heard My Jesus Come On Christian Radio. And she decided to give her life to Jesus and, and let go of those thoughts. And, um, and now she's living free in Jesus, still fighting cancer, but knows that she has a purpose and a reason for being here on earth. It means... Yeah, it means so much to me. I mean, I, um, there's so much power in music, especially music that glorifies Jesus. And um, so just thinking back on when I wrote that song and then to now see how many lives it's impacted, it's an honor. I'm so grateful. Last question? Yeah. Um, you've been nominated for six awards and this is your debut, so what's just been this whole experience been like in this it's been so much fun. Um, I came here in 2019 as a fan, so to be here all these years later and nominated and then just won two, I'm so grateful. Um, it's so cool to like look out in the crowd and see all of my incredible mentors and peers and friends out there, so I'm just really grateful to be here. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Her new book comes out uh, October 25th <laughs> as well. It's called My Jesus in stores everywhere. Uh -huh.